Hello, hello. This is Anvil Empire's dev blog number five update. During this video, we will talk about the new wood cutting methods to streamline the process. We will talk about cisterns, a new way to produce water for your crops and food. Next, we will talk about a new settlement mechanic called family areas. And finally, we will talk about water wheels. In the latest pre-alpha, the devs will be adding a new way to refine lumber. This new way to refine lumber will work within the framework of power and workshop areas introduced in the last test. After chopping down a tree, players will transport their logs to a player designed workshop area. These are located in the settlements. These workshop areas will include the new equipment for processing them into materials for production and construction. These logs must be placed on the saw buck and sawed into a production ready material like wood planks. This will initially be a manual process where players must chop the logs by hand using an axe. Each saw buck can hold several logs at a time, allowing players to deliver them into a small queue. Higher quality axes like iron axes will be able to chop logs more efficiently. If the power infrastructure is available, such as a water wheel, the chopping process can be streamlined. A power saw mill can be built over a saw buck, which will slowly process any log in a queue. While the process will be slower than chopping the logs by hand using an axe, it will allow for a passive production. It will be included in tomorrow and Wednesday's pre-alpha testing. What do you think of this new addition? Let me know in the comments. Next we have cisterns, which is basically a tank for storing water. Water will eventually become a critical resource in Anvil Empires, the devs have stated. A new way to produce water will be through the water infrastructure like the aqueducts and the canals that were introduced during the last dev blog. Cisterns will be a new structure that players can build and connect to their canal network to supply water to their settlements. Water will be used for a variety of applications including cooking and farming. When a cistern is connected to a canal that has water, it will replenish it slowly. The amount of water left in the cistern is reflected in the structure's visuals. It is noted by the devs that wells will remain in the game as another source for water, but the wells effectiveness will be reduced for now and their mechanics will be revisited in future water infrastructure updates. What do you think of this addition to the water infrastructure? Let me know in the comments. Family areas is a very experimental feature the devs have stated, and they basically said they're just sneaking it into this next pre-alpha test. The devs have stated that in Anvil Empires, the goal is for players to have agency over their settlement's development while still being encouraged to share and collaborate with their alliance. Getting the balance correct for that will require a lot of experimentation and iteration that the devs expect to extend into the game's development even into early access. We gotta remember that this is still pre-alpha. We're gonna see a lot of changes, we're gonna see a lot of things come and a lot of things go. So my advice is don't be connected to any one mechanic because it might not be in the next playtest. Family areas will allow players to section off an area of their settlement that restricts access to people that aren't family members. Players can be added as a family member through the family area's user interface. It's stated by the devs in its current minimal implementation, this feature will be missing some critical functionality, but the goal is to get the concept out there in testing as soon as possible so we can begin collecting feedback on what works and what doesn't. Basically, the devs need to find out who's going to be griefing this system. What do you all think of this idea so far? Is it helpful to the current game mechanics and settlement mechanics? Let me know in the comments. This is a simple addition of adding the water pump, which draws water into the aqueducts. For the updated model of the water wheel, they looked into many references from ancient history. You can see here an example that they use from real life and how they implement it into the game. And that's it for now with Anvil Empire's Dev Blog 5 update. What are you most excited for with this update? Let me know in the comments. Make sure to subscribe for more Anvil Empires content. Join the Anvil Discord to get invited to the playtest in the description below. I can't wait to see you all out on the battlefield. Cheers.